What's up, y'all? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Unbroke Studios. And before we get into today's video, I just want to say go ahead and shoot me a quick follow on IG. This is just a good way to get in contact with me. So let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to hop straight into it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make these like, um, I don't really want to say Y2K, but like these futuristic like type faces and logos you know what i'm saying so we're gonna roll with that so the first one i came up with Burt club is just you know what i'm saying a random generic name you know what i'm saying don't clown me on that so we're just gonna this is more of a, i'm trying to go for more of a like a professional look with these logos like corporation type look so what we're gonna do we're gonna switch stuff around and go make it look more dynamic. I don't want to say busy, but more dynamic. So we're just gonna adjust this L shape and then readjust the tracking between the letters or occurring between the L and the U. Then we're going to italicize it a little bit. Just to make it a little more futuristic techno looking. And then important thing, we're going to go into my Cyberstars asset pack. Link in the description if you want this. It's $10 for all of these shapes. So I got like this, this futuristic like shape like this slashing shape I went back to my asset pack and grabbed these ovals deleted a couple of them because I didn't need the whole row and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the other slashes and I'm gonna offset the path of the ovals and cut it out so it looks like there's a white outline around the ovals and I'm gonna add this uh, copyright symbol. Then I'm gonna offset the path for the whole logo. And delete all the paths on the inside and thicken the stroke. Thicken the stroke to about five points. And that's Vert Club. And now onto the second design. I thought of analog studios. I don't know, it's just names. I'm just thinking up off my head as I'm, you know what I'm saying, designing it. Just so y'all can get a feel for it. I like this typeface. It looks very, very like retro futuristic, if that makes sense. We're gonna readjust the size. And since this font doesn't have a smaller um, width line stroke, than that I'm gonna just go ahead and offset the path negatively to make it smaller then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the points at the bottom of this L and extend it so it can match the G and then readjust the current in and things Then I take the Word Studios and I just fit it in place. It's like a puzzle piece. Go back to my Cyberstars asset pack and I grab this Starburst effect and I line it up with the O. And then I offset the path again just so you can get like the white outline look. Then I select everything, like with an offset path, and I'm gonna make a drop shadow. But I take it off my artboard and I invert the colors. So I make everything black, white. And that's Analog Studios. Now for this one, I'm thinking Stardust Speedway. That was a name, I don't know. Don't ask me, don't ask me where I got it from, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna use this very techno futuristic 
um, tight face. And again, I go to offset path and I negatively offset it so I can get a smaller uh, font size. And that works just perfect. And I go and I select the points for the D. Then I extend it a little bit and just drag it out. As you see, these logos are very, very easy to make and not hard at all. There's no very hard technical detail. You just selecting points and extending and dragging and moving placement. You know what I'm saying? It's not really that that difficult. So then I add this box shape where I added those guidelines so everything could be nice and you know what I'm saying, cohesive. Then I add this star shape inside the box. And as you see, it's coming together. Then I use the same font for the for a vert club and I type industries and I place that inside the little oval. Then I readjust everything. Then for this last one, I went with Ion Labs, but I forgot to record the first half. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, roll what we got. I chose this font and I went and got that asset from my Cyberstars asset pack. And I'm trying to play around with the eye, but it ends up causing more, you know what I'm saying, confusion than good. So I just go ahead and delete it. I go ahead and smooth everything out. And again, I get this object for my Cyberstars asset pack. Shorten it up. And readjust the wear labs. Now, as y'all see, I done made all of these tight faces less than five minutes each. And it's very easy to make. So if y'all want to learn how to make these, or if y'all want to make something similar to what I got, y'all go in the description and get the Cyberstars asset pack. I just updated it, the price, and I also up updated all the icons that come with it. So y'all go check me out and we out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace.